will be just done. Hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are swell, man. And hope you guys are enjoying a sunny Tuesday, man. So today's episode, we will be reviewing a Jordan 12, man. I've had this shoe for quite a long time. And I actually didn't realize that I haven't reviewed it. Not even on my Instagram. I haven't touched this shoe. I traded it for one of my all-star common garçons. And hey man, it was it was I love it because I'm trying to the, the Jordan the Jordan collection I'm trying to own is from like 1 to 13. So that's like what I'm trying to do at the moment, man. But yeah, man, if you guys are new to the channel, please comment and subscribe. If you're into fashion, into sneakers, this is the channel for you. Don't forget to drop my, my video a like if you like what you see. And guys, I've actually been getting a lot of like Twitter mentions on my on my on my twitter asking if i could do it like how to spot fake shoes don't worry i will do that video i will get it to you guys i'll probably will break it down into a two-part videos on how to identify a fake shoe and what you need to look for to know that you're not getting scammed or, or if you are getting scammed so yeah man please be on lookout for that video but then without further more let's get this review open first of all i really like the jordan 12 box man like this, like it just reminds me of like old school Nike boxes. I don't know if you guys, I will, it's like back in the day with the, especially with the dumps, they used to come in like this, this brownish Nike box with like the, with this orange, red and black thing. I really like it. I wish like, you know, if they could retro the, if they said they could retro colors, I wish they could retro the boxes as when they come with those colors. It would be such a nice, that's such a nice touch. So these Jordans are called the Air Jordan 12 Retro, um, dark gray, Gray, Wolf Gray, I like the Wolf Gray name. I always call them the Jordan 12 Wolf Grays. So let's just open it up, man. Ooh. Now I've worn these bad boys. So instead of the bad when I when I picked the shoe up, I wanted to talk about is the, the quality of the shoe itself. The suede is so buttery, man. It's such a it's such a lovely shoe. And by the and this is probably one of the most comfortable Jordans I've ever worn. It's like when I walk in it, I can actually feel like the air units in the Jordan itself. So man. Like, like I said, like, you know, this is a Jordan 12. Um, the silhouette became popular, especially the flu game colorway, um, the black and red colorway, because Jordan played against the Utah Jazz when you have the flu or food poisoning or whatever you want to call it. But this Jordan 12 became popular because they, especially that colorway, I think it's the red and black colorway and the yellow color, yellow and black colorway that really made the shoe what it is, man. And yeah, I love this shoe. It's mad comfortable, true to size. I'm a 10, 10 UK, I'm an after one to behave sometimes, I'm a nine anyways. Um, yeah, it fits perfectly, man. And just the suede on it is just so, so nice. The, the material is made of suede and some like hard and leather, you know, just by the toe box and stuff like that. I love the shoe so, so much. Um, when we break it down, you can see the soft, you can see the soft um, suede on the toe box. This is, this is a full, this, this shoe is one full shoe. So they're not like different compartments. So yeah, so you get the suede running around the toe box, around, around the whole shoe, and then, um, you go up. I'm trying to figure out. It says T W O three two three oh twenty three. Oh, that's oh okay. That's pretty dope. I only noticed that now. So two three twenty three Jordan's number. Um, you okay? Got your normal like smaller role play labels. I like like the little gold pieces here. Yeah, the laces go through. That's pretty dope. And then we look at the side of the shoe. You get like this. You can see the suede. You can see the hard like near the with the jump band in this plastic material. Yeah, it's like a plastic material. And then we look at the midsole, you can see the plastic material and like the midsole is like hard. So you can't even push into it. It's like a hard, hard plastic. So I think that's just for like just for better movement in the shoe and just to protect your foot from anything in the shoe. And at the back you can see the pull tab that has the Jordan logo with the 23. And you just and you look at just when you look at the outer sole of the shoe, you can see it. It has this glitchy like greyish black thingy. Got the logo, the trendy logo, and just like yeah, man. Well, I know I, I think it's a dope shoe. The grey color, you know what I've noticed about grey shoes. What I will say that's it's a bit annoying is that grey shoes. I thought it would be simpler to like find a, an outfit to rock with grey shoes, but it's not as simple as I thought. You know, grey shoes are kind of hard to to rock, but. You know, just to have, it's a lovely shoe, but you know, when I do find a fit, I'll, I'll wear it with something. Like I have, have I posted a fit with the shoe? No, actually I haven't. I'm just showing the shoe itself. I think I'm still looking for that fit. So where do I break this thing on the sneaker vault meter? Um, I think just because it's like a hard shoe to rock with the colorway that I have and the quality carries it, I think I'll give this a good eight out of 10. This quality is bad on the shoe. I mean, like it doesn't get, 
I'm trying to like, in terms of like the quality still holds up very, very good. So it's a good eight out of ten, very, very strong eight out of ten. And shout out to the Jordan logo, Jordan brand, you know, they keep on doing things, man. Um, another other segment, what the Josh wear today, bro. I just wore my house with this guys. I didn't go anywhere today, to be honest, guys. I just kept it simple, kept it clean, you know, I find the side of the sneaker park, man. So yeah, no job, what the Josh wear today. Staying, staying indoors today. Um, yeah, man. So this is the Jordan 12 roof grade review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, don't don't forget that this week I'm, I'm trying to get these other shoes. Hopefully, I do get them to drop a review tomorrow because I think it's a shoe that holds so much value to me and just it's such a fire shoe. It's one of the collabs that I've always wanted. It's one of the collabs I always want to do a review, want to see in hand, man. So hopefully, I can get the shoe and drop the review tomorrow. Um, and yeah. Please keep a lookout for how to see a fake shoe. Those videos coming up, I will go through it step by step. It will be a two part video, so just make sure you are on the lookout for that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new here, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Um, like I said, this channel, World about Fashion and Sneakers, especially in the South African area. And yeah, man, this is Sneaker Hobby Just Done. Peace.